can do. today um, so I have three properties that I'm showing today um, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the first one and then the second one up for obvious reasons I can't um, give you the address but um, we are going to show so this is the living room area when you first walk in okay and then we walk into the kitchen area new appliances for a kid. Kids don't need that much. Um, this is going to be the bathroom here. And then this is going to be the master bedroom. Hey guys, so I don't think I've actually talked to you guys yet. Let's see if it's good lighting. So it's me. So I'm in the bullpen and I'm at the office today. And I want to show you guys my view. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm at the office. Um, we have a training today and then we also have um, where we're they're doing free headshots so I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that <laughs> um, I and then this afternoon I have showings so I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me as best I can for that and then um, yeah so that's pretty much a full day not as busy as I thought it was gonna be but it's I'm gonna be pretty busy today so um, I hope you guys are good hope you guys are doing well um leave me some comments down below let me know how you go how you're doing and yeah i'll chat with you guys hey guys okay so it is later on in the day and i really didn't have an opportunity to show you guys it's just busy showing um working with the client but i'm home now and i know today wasn't so much footage but honestly Honestly, it just really wasn't that much to show you. Um, today was kind of a social gathering at work. Um, so there was food. We got to meet a new, uh, oof, a bug. The bug on my face. We, we got to meet a new vendor. Um, we got, um, we met a new vendor. We actually were able to take headshots. Um, and I wish that I had been able to take a, picture of that or have somebody taking photos of that um that would have been a great piece of content but anyway so yeah I'm actually getting ready to do a workout I'm just gonna do 30 minutes because I'm trying to work out every day or at least five days a week like I said I'm gonna do that dinner is already cooking and I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow 
Hey guys, good morning. So it is Saturday. Let's go and see you guys here. Okay, yeah, so it's Saturday and I'm excited, nervous, all kinds of emotions and feelings right now. I'm doing my first buyer's constant consultation um, with someone I don't know. <clears throat> so I've been preparing for it since yesterday and, you know, just bringing myself back to try to not to overthink the situation, to have fun, um, and to just come from a place of service and genuine wanting to help this person, which it is genuine. I really want to do, I really do want to um, help people that are going to be coming into my future. So that that is the purpose of this job, is to serve others. Um, but I really just want to do a good job as well. I want them to, you know, take a liking to me. I want to like them too, because not every transaction is a transaction for you. you, you not every person that you come into contact with, you know, will be a good fit for you and vice versa. You may not be a good fit for them. So I have all of that going on right now. I'm getting ready to, I just got here. So I'm getting ready to kind of just prepare um, I'm down. I'm in my downtown office. I put a little bit of just stuff that we have around the office. I hope that's okay. But <laughs> um, so I just have some water, candy, hand sanitizer. Oh, this is mine. And I'm just getting ready to set up um, for them. They should be here in like 10 minutes. Um, I wanted to be here a little er like earlier. Well, I did get here at the time I said, but the time is just flying by. So I'm going to go ahead and set up. Okay, <clears throat> so I have, um, let's do this way. This way's better. Uh, let's, go back. let's go back to our talking space. So I have some questions that I wrote in their file, which is in my database, and then I have some handwritten questions. My biggest thing is to not make them feel like they're being interrogated, even though it's really important for me to find out what they, you know, I really want to find out what they truly need and that's going to save me time, it's going to save them time. So that's kind of how, kind of the angle of where I'm going to um, take it. I probably need to give them a call and find out if they're close so that way to tell them to call me when they get here so that I can let them in. Um, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, so I have my questions ready and I kind of want to run through the presentation a little bit. I ran through it some last night, but I want to kind of go over it again. I'll be good. I think I'm going to be good. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a good job. So I'm not going to be filming that, of course, but I'll let you guys know how it goes because we're also supposed to go and show houses. Um, I'm, supposed, I'm also supposed to go and show her a house or two after we meet. So that's why um, I want to, you know, meet with her, take my time, get to know her and then go and show her one or two properties. And then today I actually have to come back to the office because I have an event that I'm helping with that I offered to help out with. So um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. Hey guys, so it is 8.52. I have not heard from my client. She's not here. Our appointment was for 8.30. I called, I texted, and I uh, left her voicemail as well and have not heard from her. So. You know, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. So anything could have happened, um, or maybe she's just really late. Maybe she overslept. Could be anything. Maybe she decided not to come today. Um, or maybe she's just one of those people that don't communicate. So I'm not letting it bum me out. It just kind of takes away the time that I would have had to show her homes. And you know, my time is valuable, and I think that that's something that people forget when they're working with people who have their own businesses or businesses in general that's why they have you make appointments you know because you because they don't want you wasting their time as much as they are a business there's a process and there's a structure that you have to follow if you're going to be working or if you want you know that business to if you want if you're going to be working with that business whether it be an entrepreneur whether it be like a brick and mortar whether it be like a bigger business um you know, so my time is valuable, so it's not like I'm going to be here waiting for her all day. 
definitely by nine o'clock if I don't hear from her. I'm gonna assume that she's not coming and um, proceed with my day and just try to follow up with her later on after my event today. Definitely don't want to work with someone who doesn't wanna work with me who can't communicate because those are signs of a buyer, of someone that's not a true buyer. You know, a true buyer is someone that, I watched a video on this, really good video. A true buyer is someone who is gonna communicate with you, who is searching to, who is going to give you all the documents that might be needed when they're requested, who's gonna be really involved in the in their home buying process. They're the ones that are buying the home. But it is our job to guide them and to try to get the best quality home for them and to find a home that meets their needs. That's why they hire an agent. That's why you work with an agent. Um, even if it's new construction, there's some shady stuff out there with new construction. So you should have a buyer, an, an agent with you. If you're looking for new homes, it's best to have a buyer there with you. It's best to have an agent there with you because they are going to be able to represent you and look out for your best interest. Builders are sneaky and, and, and you know, the buyers, the building agents that are there, the uh, new, new construction, those agents there are looking out for the builder. They're not looking out for you, they're looking out for the builder. So people need to kind of keep that in mind as well. But yeah, that sucks. I was excited, I had my little speech. Um, not my speech, but you know, I was going over my buyer's presentation. This is my buyer's presentation. We kind of use it as a guide and I had my notes and everything. So I kind of wanted to put it to use. The good thing is, is that I have another appointment tomorrow. So this will be practice for that tomorrow. So yeah, but um, that's what's going on. It's 8.55, haven't heard from her, no message, no call back or anything. So at least I'll be prepared for tomorrow. So I'll check in with you guys later. Okay guys, so um, it is a little later in the afternoon, it's around two, close to two o'clock. The home buying seminar went well. I learned a lot. Um, just, I learned, I learned a lot as far as how to communicate to people when you're, or you how to, how to communicate to potential clients and just kind of like, the things to say and making them feel comfortable and reassuring them and mostly just educating them you know um a lot of people think that when you buy a house well i would say for i would say for a lot of people you know people are mostly excited about you know house shopping like the actual act of going to look for the house but you need to be prepared not get repaired not get prepared so there's a lot that needs to be in order um, before you decide that you want to buy a house so while that's you know the, looking for the house that's the fun part but there's no point in looking for the house if your credit is jacked up if you don't have savings if you know you have other circumstances that would cause you to not get pre-approved so just the education piece i think is very important so it was good to just learn like i said um from my coach is is uh the person who through she was she was the educator so she was the one that was doing the speaking and then there was a a lender there as well so he got to talk about the finance part and the money piece and there was also the title company there which just explained kind of explained uh the process from when you put the house under contract and you're working and you get pre and you get a loan fully approved by the lender you know what they do you know the underwriting part looking for uh doing the, the search history on doing a search on the history of the home so just those types of things so like i said it was very good i want to give you guys an update on the client that i was supposed to meet this morning as soon as i finished making as soon as i turned off the camera after letting you guys know that she that she wasn't coming or that she had not shown up yet she texted me and she let me know that she was in the hospital 
so I basically just wished her all the best um, and we would have to reschedule because the property that she wants to see, she's interested in a condo and the condo happens to be occupied by a tenant and so you know you have to schedule an appointment it requires an appointment and you know we all scheduled time we all scheduled things uh you know I, I scheduled the showing the listing agent let the tenant know the tenant wanted to be there so she set aside time so it was just it's, it's you know it affects everybody uh, you know and people don't really think of the time that goes into uh making appointments there are sometimes a lot of houses um where you can just go in but then there's a lot of houses too that uh, the seller requires an appointment and that has to be done at least 24 hours 24 hours ahead of time or 48 hours ahead of time um she let me know that she was in the hospital but that she really really did want to go and see the house and i said you know keep in mind the house may not be available by the time you know you're you're you know by the time that you're well you know and i also don't want to be putting myself in a situation because she was like no you know i um i i am getting out of the hospital at 12 o'clock and i still want to see it um okay so i live in florida it's hot as hell and you just told me that you had a blood transfusion like she sent me a picture you know what i'm saying like so if i'm believing her right i'm not taking you out when you're just getting out of the hospital to go and see houses i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying uh, so yeah, that was a no and I just, you know, I was obviously nice about it and just again educating her and letting her know that, you know, well, unfortunately we're going to have to reschedule another appointment because this, the, the property is tenant occupied. She's really interested in this one particular, particular property and, you know, and I then had the event to go to and then, um, you know, other things to do today. I just didn't have time to do it today. So one thing about my business is that I want to be in control. Um, while yes, you know, when you're working with a buyer, there's going to be maybe times that you have to work where you don't really want to, but I'm trying not to waste my time. So then there's a lot of, um, oh shit, driving behind this bike, yo. Oh, Jesus. People out here are retarded. Um, I told her that I would follow up with her and, um, you know, I will reschedule the appointment with the listing agent. So, that's that. So, to, for the rest of today, Saturday, I want to go and get a pedicure. I really need to go and get a pedicure. My, the, my, the nail on my big toe is cracked. And so, I really need to get that fixed. So, I'm going to to do that um and just because and just my my feet hurt so i'm gonna go and get a pedicure and then just spend time with spend time with with my boo thing for the rest of the day and also just kind of i'm probably gonna do work i know me I'm probably gonna do work i'm probably going to plan um i especially need to plan for youtube because you guys are seeing this has been two weeks and I have posted a video and that's really not like me it hasn't been like me in a long 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 time so I really want to um, finish vlogging and put this up for you guys um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anything tomorrow I probably won't we'll see yeah today would probably be um, I'll probably end the vlog today but yeah I'm gonna go and get a pedicure so I might do that and um, I will talk to you guys later